Today I'm doing uh, something a little different. Um, my six month old son has been like sick with a cold the last week, so I have not had time to film anything. I'm still waiting for my BoxyCharm box to get here. Um, I haven't had time to do any like crazy grocery hauls or anything, so I thought that I would do a kind of a my skincare routine nighttime edition. So, um, that's what we're gonna do today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Carly. I am a wife and homeschool mom of five boys. On my channel, I like to talk about budgeting. I like doing unboxings of products I like. I like skincare, makeup, um, ways to save money. I kind of all just a whole lot of stuff. Basically, a lot of things that I'm interested in. So that's what you're gonna see on my channel. What I'm interested in is what I'm gonna share. I don't limit myself to like one little single thing. So if any of those things interest you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I'm doing my skincare routine. Don't mind, I've been wearing glasses um, lately. I'm finally getting used to them, but now I've got these like really cute dents from wearing them all day. Being in my 30s and now starting to wear glasses is just, just not sure how I feel about it. But anyway, so we're gonna do my skincare routine and um, my nighttime skincare routine is honestly pretty like, I feel like not too many steps, pretty chill and laid back. Um, however, my daytime routine, I feel like has maybe too many steps in it and maybe I'll film that it's a later date. But what I do is I always start out with um, a double cleanse, whether I wear makeup or not. Today, I'm not wearing makeup, but I have sunscreen on and I've learned that apparently sometimes your face wash doesn't always take off everything and all your sunscreen, so it's better to double cleanse. So I'm using right now this Versed. That's the brand. Um, Daily Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It does have eucalyptus in it, so if you don't like essential oils or your skin sensitive, maybe you wouldn't like it. It has a very slight scent. It does have that very slight, like, you can tell there's essential oils in it, but I honestly have pretty like, I don't know, I can kind of do anything to my skin. It doesn't really react badly. So it has not affected me at all. And as you can see, it's almost gone. I got this at Target. It was kind of expensive. It was like 30 bucks. And this is my first ever cleansing balm. I've just finally gotten into like really taking care of my skin. Um, I feel like up until then, like all through my 20s, you know, I'd put sunscreen on the majority of the time, but not always. Um, I would like maybe use a moisturizer sometimes if I remembered, but there'd be like days in between me doing any sort of skincare. And definitely I was guilty of like going to bed with like a full face of makeup still on more more than I'd like to admit, like a lot. All right, then normally once I have this all kind of on my face, um, I do kind of go around my eyes, especially if I have actual like eye makeup on, I kind of get a little bit of water and then I just kind of emulsify it. It's really nice. I've actually kind of found like, I like look forward to my skincare now. Like, I feel like I can't skip a day. I mean, sometimes if it's too late and my baby needs me, I do, but try not to and normally I kind of like bring this all the way down around my neck but I'm not gonna do that today because wearing a shirt a lot of times I do this in like a bathrobe or something that makes it easier and then I'm just gonna rinse this off quick normally I don't really dry off my face because I'm gonna go in and cleanse again but for the sake of this video I need to dry off a little bit so I can see um I kind of alternate lately with a couple different cleansers. This is the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser. Um, I think I got this in one of my FabFitFun boxes. I'm like 99% sure. Um, so I've actually really liked it. It doesn't really have a smell. No, it smells like nothing. But it's very, um, like it's very thick. It has like a creamy consistency. To it so I've been using this a lot 
I like because it's not drying but if I feel like I'm like extra oily or I've kind of like broken out then I've been using this Tulia skincare I just started using this like I got this in my that fit fun box um it's like a gel I really like it the smell is really strong and I'm I don't really mind scents but this is really perfumey like it's heavy on the perfume but I feel like it like cleanses well but still isn't drying but if I want something that's like a little more like I feel like it makes me a little more like squeaky clean if that makes sense this one's just like so moisturizing and hydrating and obviously I normally do this when my face is a lot more wet but see it just like super creams up on the face it's really nice I really like how it makes my skin feel like really nice and soft after I use it. All right. I try guys, if you don't like, especially on days I wear makeup, I try to kind of get a little bit into my hairline, even though it makes my color fade faster in my hairline, but otherwise like you get makeup all stuck in there or like right here. I don't know. I always scrub right here because I feel like people don't get that close to their ears and then you get like buildup or like like congestion in here and so scrub by your ears even when you're washing your face. I'm gonna go rinse this off. Alright now that I'm all nice and cleansed and my skin like already feels so nice and smooth I'm gonna go in with my toner. Um, this is Frutia Blueberry Honey Water Toner. Um, this is like Korean skincare. It was really affordable. I actually bought it online from Walmart. Um, and it's giant. Like this thing is huge. It'll last me forever. Although I'm kind of like obsessed with trying new things. So sometimes I'm like, don't want things to last forever. Cause I just want to try new skincare, but it has a really, it kind of smells like it has a lavender scent to it, honestly, but it smells really nice and light. Uh, yes, it does have lavender in it. So it does have a lavender scent. Um, you'll probably notice quite a few things that I'm using that I've gotten from my BoxyCharm boxes. These discs, I wasn't sure I was going to use them, but I haven't gotten around to buying any sort of like cotton pads. So I use these and then I just throw them in the wash. And I have three of them and I just kind of use them all for this purpose. And they don't absorb too much, so I don't feel like I'm wasting too much product. But I have been using these, these LaRue discs. Um, I don't know if that's gross to do, but that's what I'm doing just so I don't have to wash them as often, but I don't reuse a side. And this also, I normally will take all the way around like the back of my neck. I'll take it down my chest. Um, and sorry, like this isn't obviously a super in-depth skincare. Like I don't have all the ingredients and whatever. <laughs> I'm not that kind of a person. I mean, I am. I study them, but like... I wasn't that prepared for this video, unfortunately. This was like a, I was like, I need to do something and I might as well share my skincare routine. So that's what I'm doing. And sometimes too, I will spray like a toner in between every step. Cause sometimes I like to kind of keep all the products on my face. Like, I don't know when, when your face is more hydrated, when you're applying serums, I feel like it's easier to kind of like help them absorb and like spread them around your face more efficiently if you keep your face um damp in between steps although I'm gonna grab a spray one for that just because it'll be I don't want to use this because I don't want to keep wiping my face with this disc in between every skincare step so after I'm done cleansing I use my toner I then go in and use an essence from a lot of things I've read essences are one of those like not really necessary but like fun extra steps to skincare but not like you need this but like you need this i like it um the one i'm currently using right now is 11 skin um antioxidant energizing essence um i like how it feels on my skin sorry it's a little smudgy for me but and i like the bottle it's like a really pretty fancy bottle this also was from boxycharm um, but again, it's really heavily scented and I'm kind of realizing that, um, a lot of 
I'm using the other side of this pad. Um, a lot of like, I don't know, American skincare, or I guess this is from London, but like the Western part of the world, you know, I feel like we use so much, um, fragrance, like this fragrance in this is really strong. Like honestly, because of the smell alone, I don't think I'd buy it again. I feel like it's kind of like I'm rubbing cologne on my face, but I do like how it makes my skin feel. So I'm going to keep using it. Although I would advise if you have sensitive skin because of the scents. And sometimes I feel like if I put this on and I had like maybe like a, a pimple or something, it can like sting a tiny bit. So keep that in mind. Like don't use, don't use this if you have sensitive skin in my opinion. Um, also, it's like an essence, but it's not one of those like watery essence or not. I mean, like thicker essences. It's not like serum. It's very, it's still very liquidy. Yep, yeah, just drips right on down. So that's why I use a cotton pad. So I like how it makes my skin feel, but I hate the smell. And I actually don't really mind scents and skincare and I like perfume, but this is just really strong in my opinion. And I go in with my... Dermalect Out Crease Retinol Trifecta Serum. This I think also was maybe from BoxyCharm. Sorry, it's not focusing. Focus. Sorry, it's not gonna focus. But it has retinol, retinol, reti, retinol acetate, retinol palmitate. Sorry if I'm butchering all those. This is my first time using, no, I take that back. This is my first time using a retinol serum, um, but I've used another retinol before from Glow Recipe, their avocado like retinol sleep mask. But so I haven't you know, noticed any effects. I know some people notice like breakouts and like skin purging or drying and stuff. I have not, this claims it's safe to use around the eye area, so I do. It goes on, it kind of feels like an oil, but then it absorbs, but it does have a nice slip to it, which I like. And I just use this at night. I do not use one during the day. I use other actives during the day that don't play well with retinol. Um, so, and then I always rub any excess I have into like my hands. Next, um, like I said, I use like a spray toner or hydrating spray normally in between like every step. So I have this Mama Bino Organics Balancing Facial Mist, Rose Water and Cucumber. Um, so I'll just like spray that. It has a very light cucumber scent. It doesn't smell like rose because I know some people really hate like the smell of rose water. Cucumbery, so it's kind of nice and refreshing. If I was super bougie and fancy, you know, I'd like to keep that in the refrigerator, but um, I'm not that extra, so. Next, and then I'm going to go in with the Ceramide Shot Ampoule by Ample N. This is another Korean skincare. Again, if you want like super detailed skincare information, I'm sorry, I don't have that in this video for you, but I do know like Ceramides are super soothing for your skin. They're really good for like your skin barrier especially if you're struggling with, you know, like any sort of skin sensitivity or dryness or redness, things like that. Um, this is also like a giant bottle. It goes a really long, long way. And it's just really nice. It's not sticky. It's not scented. It just feels like really nice. And I have noticed, like, I've never been like super, I don't have like, a lot of like proneness to like redness or anything, but I do feel like any bit I did have, like it's gone away since I've been using this. Yes, I'm gonna spray my face again because I just like how it makes everything like slip easier when I'm applying stuff. Then I'm gonna go in with the Claire's, 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 Fundamental Watery Oil Dew Drop. It's just basically like, Another like super hydrating step. Since it's winter now, uh, I'm just trying to take extra care to keep my skin like 
super hydrated. It's kind of like an oily, they call it like oily water. Like it doesn't feel oily. Like it doesn't feel oily at all. It's more watery. It's like a thick watery consistency, but it's just like really nice and hydrating. Honestly, if you were like super like greasy, oil prone, like, and you wanted to still, you know, kind of moisturize, I would use this. It also has no scent, um, just because it's nice, it hydrates your skin, but it's not too heavy. Next, this is also Korean skincare. I have the Advanced Nail Peptide Eye Cream by Cosrx. Um, I honestly really like. Sorry, I feel like stuff's just not focusing at all. Maybe if I hold it away there. Mm -hmm. Um. I've just like recently gotten into like Korean skincare, thanks to YouTube, not gonna lie. And um, I really like how affordable a lot of it is. Um, honestly, like if you go to websites like Stylevana or Yes Style, like you can get really good deals and like very affordable. And so far I've really been liking it. I've honestly always used an eye cream only because between FabFitFun and BoxyCharm, I always get eye creams. And I had just used up my last one, so I actually had to go out and actually buy one. And so I decided to try this. And I'm not really sure exactly what the benefits of snail mucin are. I just know it's like super good and hydrating for your skin or something. <sighs> Again, don't follow me for like, skincare information. I mean, eventually, if I have more time, I would love to like go more into it because I know a lot of the information, just not off the top of my head. And I don't have time to like, you know, I just didn't have a lot of time to like really go in depth with this video. But that's okay. So I'm going to spray my skin again for the last time. And then I'm going to add I have the Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. Um, I don't know why they call it Jelly Moisturizer. I don't feel like it's very jelly. I've used a lot of it. It also has lavender in it, so keep that in mind. Any of you guys who got it in your BoxyCharm boxes will know. I have a lot. Normally when I do this, like I said, I put all my products from like my head down all through like my chest area. I do like the back of my neck, maybe sometimes like my shoulders just because I feel like all that skin is what shows and like all gets like so much um, skin damage, you know, from the sun and whatever. So I like to really do all my skincare. And I used to literally, when I would do skincare when I was younger, cause I was like, I need to save money in the product. I'd like stop right here. And now I'm like, no, <laughs> I can't do that anymore. I don't want anything to be old and creepy and like, I know aging is inevitable, but now that I'm, like I said, 30, I'm like, oh, can, can I age gracefully? That's my hope. I'd like to age gracefully. So, I know at the start of this, I realized I was like, hmm, my nighttime routine is like not that much. And now I'm realizing like it is kind of a lot. There's a lot of steps. And honestly, like, oh, some of these things aren't necessary and like, you don't need, you know, you can do like one serum, you know, like if I personally had to pick, I'd probably do the retinol and I could skip all the rest of it. The last thing I'm going to do, and it's really mainly because I have it, so I'm going to use it, but I don't feel like it's like a necessary step. But I do feel like since I've been doing all this skincare, like I feel like my skin is like really nice and like plump. Um, it's this Earth Harbor Aurora Superfood Luminous Ampoule. Um, but it's literally all oils. So if you are doing your skincare routine, this is what I've been told is that you should do your oil last. So even after like your moisturizer, then go in with the oil if you're going to. I don't know if you can skip a moisturizer and use an oil instead. I've never done that. But this has sea greens and cannabis, which, you know, they said that cannabis is like, it's like the wonder thing. It's great for everything. 
mouth. So they're like, of course we're putting it in skincare. So I don't really know if cannabis is really that great for your skin. But this is like really thick. So I literally use like two, maybe three drops. And then I rub this into my hands first. And then this one I just kind of like press. One thing I've learned too with oils, you don't want to wait too long to like use them up because I've had somewhere if I've waited too long and then like you can tell when like oil goes bad and it has like that stale smell. This doesn't have that, it's fine. But I've definitely learned that. Like don't leave your oils laying around for too long because they can, they have the potential to go rancid. And that, that is my nighttime skincare routine. And now I'm realizing that it's really extra and it's, let me count the steps real quick. So now that I just counted everything, it's like an 11 step skincare routine when you count the double cleanse and the eye moisturizer. So yeah, I guess my skincare routine is a little, that's pretty excessive. Wow, I didn't ever count the number of things I used before. Also before bed, put on like some sort of a lip balm. I've been using this Basie, Basie Beauty lip oil. It's almost gone that we got from one of our BoxyCharm boxes. So I try to at least use my products, you know, that I get from BoxyCharm or I use good old fashioned Aquaphor healing ointment. Um, this, I used to get like such bad peeling lips. Um, like horrible, like I didn't know what to do with, like they would just constantly peel no matter what I did. And then I had a nurse um, recommend using that. And so now I do use that most nights before bed. My lips don't peel anymore. I don't have peely lips. I don't need to use lip scrubs. My lipstick always goes on like so smooth and nice. So I mentioned this in a video before, like it's the miracle thing. But then sometimes I will use this because I have it. But I feel like if I go too long and just use this and skip the aquaphor, they can get kind of dry again. So I don't know what it is because I think aquaphor healing ointment is like the same as Vaseline. But I don't know. I guess it just locks everything in keeps my lips from getting all dry and gross. That is my 11-step skincare routine. If you count the lips, then it's 12. Honestly, even though I put all that stuff on, like... I feel like my skin looks nice. I don't look like, you know, I'm just like grease ball, slimy, slimy face. When I wake up in the morning, my skin is just like super soft. It's not sticky at all. Sorry, I didn't have like more like ingredient information on my skincare. Um, if you are interested in more like actual facts, I can definitely put more effort into like my next video. Um, I have a lot of skincare. So as I cycle through stuff, if you guys are interested, I can definitely show more of the things that I do and have and like. Um, so again, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And like I've said before, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. It means so much. It helps me so much. I appreciate so much the amount of support I've had so far on my channel. And um, I don't know. I found that I just, I really enjoy making YouTube videos. All right guys, see you next time. Bye.